So if you're trying to solve a fairly simple, straightforward problem, right, uh, then you can have an autonomous or, or relatively autonomous agent, right? And what does that look like? Well, that looks like I understand the problem really well. I've seen a lot of attempts at this issue, right? I know what good looks like, right? And I have sort of a corpus of data, right, around what is the structure of the answers that there should be. But most problems are what uh, the industry would call wicked problems, right? So the term was coined back in the 70s. And wicked problems are things like economics, politics, you know, complex systems problems, right? And so when you talk about wicked problems, which is a lot of what you're dealing with when you're trying to think about responsible AI and the security of the AI outputs, right? Those are more complex. So what really most people think about is two things. One, break the process down into structured steps that tends to work much better uh, with AI agents, right, in that workflow, and then put humans in the loop. So decide at which point are these really straightforward tasks that an, an AI agent uh, can can take the, uh, you know, the, uh, the action on itself, and at what point, based either on a risk level or the complexity, do you put human in the loop? So it's really a balance of these two things. So that's why I say it's autonomous, and really it's, in most cases today, semi-autonomous.